Leute. Hi, my John. Oh, so sad. Look at these pitiful humans. It's so easy in this digital age to create a room for my souls. They come and chat and reveal their most inner secrets. And all I have to do is collect. One by one, I will take them like a Thanksgiving banquet. Well, let's start with a taster before we move on to the mains. Jeff is just in it for her money. Now this is a tasty main course. Mummy, are you dead? Are you? Maybe she's waiting for him. Hey, Annie. I, um... Uh, I thought I'd send you a video message rather than text you because I know you're driving right now. Um... I've just got to Mum's house now. Um... I've brought my suit for the funeral tomorrow, so I've got everything I need. I've got stuff I'm sure I don't forget. Yeah, I've, I haven't been here in a while. I will see you at five o'clock. It's three o'clock now. So, um, yeah, I hope your drive's going okay. See you in a bit. Hey Annie, I'm just checking in, um, it's almost five o'clock and uh, I've not heard from you yet, so. I just uh, wanted to check you're okay because it's after five now. Um, please do text me because I want to. I just hope you're okay.
some say, when you're intoxicated, we see double. Well, Ruth is about to notice she is not the only one living inside herself. Yummy, watch out. Someone's looking at you. Oh, God. You only wake up and you're still pissed. That's me right now. Pissed and a little bit hungover when you can feel it both. Ugh. But I actually had a really good night. My head is hurting though. But what else are we meant to do in this situation that we're all in? Got to have a bit of fun and my roommates, housemates, friends, mates are in the biggest mood possible with me today for trying to have a little bit of fun and actually lighten myself and lighten my mood up and I honestly don't care because if I want to put a little bit of music on and dance and have a few glasses of wine what's the issue with that you know but right now seeing as they've buggered off out food shopping, not even asked me if I want any food. No, no, because it's everyone hate roof day today, in case you didn't know. Um, I'm gonna jump in the shower, put some more music on and enjoy myself. Now, I'm all for a party by myself, but I am getting sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. I'm fed up of living with absolute boring twats who just have a go at me for wanting to have a drink. So if any of you out there want to have a virtual party with me, let's FaceTime, let's make this happen. Drop me a DM. Try not to laugh. This is my new pad. This is where I am going to be living now. Yep, you heard it, they kicked me out. They wasn't joking when they said, oh, I'm my last warning. And even though I don't think I've personally done it wrong, they do. Um, so yeah, I'm here now. They are gonna put me a bed in there and obviously clean all storage out of it. 
but yeah and obviously there's no I can do about it because I can't exactly go back to my parents house yet so I've just got to hold it out I've literally been trying to sleep for I don't know how many hours there's still <coughs> they're still at it an absolute mug well I'm stuck in here they're all having a little gathering <laughs> I think I'm some sort of pushover <laughs> did you hear him? <laughs> sick of it now they have literally had me up for hours laughing joking i'm sure they're doing it louder just just to piss me off do they think i'm like locked in this garage or something like i can't come out i am gonna go up here them a fucking visit that's what i'm gonna do go see what's going on there one of those courses that gets stuck in your teeth irritating you have to keep prodding it with a stick to jar it loose but it's still very sweet just like her little friend the bear hi ah uh, god wow what a journey man it's just been crazy um I've been on such a long flight and I'm just getting back to my parents' house now, so I'm really excited. Uh, I'm about to go and see everyone. <laughs> it's just such a stunning view up here. It's so beautiful. Hey guys, hey. Um, so I've just gotten back to my parents' house and I'm just about to go into my old room. I just wanted to um, I'm just gonna drag the bag in with me. It's quite a heavy bag. Oh my god, so weird. <laughs> okay. So many mirrors, it's so fun. Hey. <laughs> oh wow, this is so weird being back. Yeah, there's some some things on my shelf that are like really old. <laughs> oh mum, nice. Nice. Ah. Uh, yep. These bad boys. I remember using these um, all the time when I was younger. They're so funny. I'm just gonna I'll put them on. Hang on. It's a bit hard with one hand talking to you guys. There we go. How's that? Is that beautiful? Mm. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty fun. They're a little bit um, crooked. Still good though. Still good. Still good. Oh my god. Ugh. Ah, oh, she's put that creepy bear back in my room. 
Why? Mum's put like a bunch of my old toys. And, um, there's like this creepy bear that I had when I was a kid and she's put it like back on my top shelf. Like, look at that. It's so weird. Look at him. How? Ah. Mum, why'd you do that? <laughs> Honestly. So, um, I'm just in my room, but I've just, like, thought I heard something, so I've just woken up. Um, man, I just, that beer is just so creepy. Don't need a creepy beer at home. Just gonna cover it up with something. Hi, um, so I'm just waking up in New Zealand, I've got my coffee, and I'm just going out on the deck, the balcony, the veranda, um, to see this beautiful view, and you can hear the birds in the background. It's such a crazy journey, it's so nice to wake up here. <laughs> so weird the beer is just over there like honestly this is weird like I don't think anyone's home what the hell it's so creepy it's so weird oh my god I'm just gonna keep Hi! Um, so I'm just going to take you to um, my old library. <laughs> just a second. Um, this is so weird. It's kind of like going for a trip down, um, down memory lane because there are so many books here that I have not seen in ages. Um, <laughs> what's all this? Oh yeah, so... What have we got here? We've got um, the flock book, which with um, <laughs> a farm and all that in the family, you've kind of got to learn about these things. But man, it's so weird seeing some of these books. I haven't seen them in ages. There we go. A lot of chick lit in there. Beautiful. It's just bringing back so many memories. It's crazy. What's that noise? It's weird. Just heard 
food's helping. It's kind of coming from this area. You know, I'm just. It's so weird. It's like not even funny. What the hell? Hilarious. Good one. <laughs> Fuck. For fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Put that back. I <sighs> mean, my parents think they are so funny. Hilarious. Just fucking hilarious. Um, hi guys. Hi. So I'm still at my parents' house and I'm just doing some work. Right, so <laughs> I've been home a few days now and like mum's put this child, this bear from my childhood in my room, okay? It's a really creepy bear, like it's something weird, you know, like it's real creepy. Um, what's well, been happening, I think, my dad's been trying to prank me because he knows that I'm really scared of it, right? Okay, so he or mum, like maybe it's both of them, <laughs> I don't know, um, they're like putting the bear in weird parts of the house it's giving me such a fright like and i don't like i can just feel it watching me and i can just feel it watching me or watching me or watching me it feels like i can't get away from it shit it's down my spine and, and uh, i kind of just wish i'd stop pranking me like it's not very funny you know it's kind of it's actually it's actually pretty scary <laughs> It feels like I can't get away from it. I know it's a bear. I know. But, yeah. Maybe someone's here. I don't know. Hi. Hello. I don't think anyone's here. Hello? What's that sound? Did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? It's just weird now, like, I don't know. What? Oh my goodness. Did you guys hear that sound? <laughs> I think it's just the dog. Hi. Hi, what are you doing up? What are you doing up, hey? Did you hear it too? I feel like there's someone here, but I don't know. What are you doing? Was it you? Was it just you? Was it what the sound was? just gonna like go back to my room because I don't think there's anything here but I... oh how appetizing a man who has faded to black and white I guess you can say 
Here's the fish course. I think he's a Dover soul. See what I did there? How are we doing with the toilet roll, Harry? So, uh, I think it'll be interesting to see just how long it lasts because I don't think anyone knows a lot at this stage. But we uh, need to remain positive. Is that Keith? Can you please keep it clean? And can you please, please, please spray the air freshener? It just never seems to, never seems to clean up after himself. But um, uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, we need to make sure that we're uh, we're working together in this and uh, and making sure that we're we're all staying positive. So I'm just checking in the fridge just to see what we have because obviously we need to keep stocked up during times like this. And I noticed that there are quite a few things missing as per usual um, but more annoyingly I noticed that there's no vegan cheese which I assume has been eaten um, rather annoyingly because the guy is not even a vegan and he knows that this is the only cheese I can eat particularly as he has yet to pay me any rent for this month because he said he wouldn't be working so I basically said he could pay the money when he had it which is anyway So another day in lockdown and uh, another day with more issues around the house. Uh, Keith thinks it's absolutely fine to leave his washing up in the sink for someone else to do. I'm not quite sure who he thinks is going to be doing it. I'm certainly not. And uh, no doubt the the empty plates were full of food that I bought for myself, which uh, conveniently disappears um, from the kitchen. And he's even taken to uh, finding it necessary to move the toilet rolls. The toilet rolls disappear from the bathroom, from the cupboard. I'm not sure uh, why he would take them. Maybe he thinks it's a bit of a joke. I don't know. But um no, it's not, uh, it's not very funny at all. So um, I will be having a word with him about uh, these, this behavior basically, which is, uh, I'm not comfortable with. That's certainly an experience that I don't want to, to go through again. So these, So it was a miracle that I actually got some sanitizer, seeing as they were pretty much out of everything today. And we'll see how long that lasts, assuming no one uses them all up immediately. Right, well that was, uh, that was very eventful. Um, it took me the best part of three hours to to try and get some basic shopping items. I uh, I went to five shops in the end, five shops and there's queuing outside the shops. It's ridiculous. And all these pillocks who are, who are hoarding all these items, toilet rolls, there's no toilet rolls. There's no, 
master there's no basics but there you go so we've got two toilet rolls left i've put one in the toilet and i have hidden one because i know that it will go missing if i leave it in there leave it it's keith again keith can you remember that we only have one toilet roll left so can you please be considerate thank you notice that he didn't uh, make an effort to go out because he says he's got no money so he can't but um it's okay for me to uh, to do with shopping for both of us isn't it yeah so um it's it's pretty late uh now but um i'm not really able to sleep because there are quite a lot of issues that are going on in my head i did the uh the shopping today what i could get and um but when I came down this evening, I noticed that a lot of the items that I just bought had actually, perhaps unsurprisingly, gone missing. Uh, Keith um, has either eaten them or perhaps he thinks it's it's funny to uh, to wind me up, maybe hide them, maybe put them somewhere that I wouldn't find them. I don't know, but it's getting really, really annoying now, and I I really need to do something because he doesn't listen to me he's taking advantage of my hospitality it's my house <laughs> it should be my rules but it's not it's not and what he's doing is <sighs> he's getting to a point where i'm going to need to do something i'm going to need to do something desperate um well uh another day on lockdown and I'm uh, just about at the end of my tether with Keith and uh, his behavior I don't believe it he's, he's in there again Keith can you not use all the toilet roll I think I've uh, solved the toilet roll problem. <laughs> Fran is a keep fit fanatic, but she is about to get her cake and eat it. It's the great bloody bake off. Hello, so today I've decided to share with you the exercise routine I've been doing every single day of lockdown. I call this Fran's Fitness Plan. It's a mix of cardio and ab work. I think, you know, well, this only takes seven minutes, so I think it's a perfect amount of time to be exercising every single day without knackering yourself completely. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Seconds on the clock. Okay. 
bien. Um, who knows where I'll be at the end of lockdown. I'll be so much fitter. Protein shakes are really, really good for you. It's just as important to put really good stuff into your body as it is to do the exercises. And especially when we're in lockdown and we're not getting to the gym as much as we can, these protein shakes I'm hoping are really gonna help me keep the best shape that I want to be. Cheers. Hey guys, so this is my lockdown dating apps reaction video. Um, I've never actually used a dating app before, so I'm quite intrigued to see what the fuss is about. Um, especially during lockdown, it is actually our only way to meet people now, so I thought let's just do it, see what happens. Okay, I'm in, I've got my profile. Hey, I was writing an article on the finer things in life, and I was hoping I could interview you. No. Let's flip a coin. Heads, you're mine. Tails, I'm yours. My coin landed like ridge side up. I'm not. Oh, this guy's wearing a polo t-shirt. Oh, I thought we'd have those in primary school. No. Are you a pandemic? Because you've got my heart on lockdown. <laughs> what? Is heaven your quarantine zone? Because you look like an angel. These are awful. These are so generic. I don't think he's real. This guy says he's funny, handsome, and stupid. Ugh. You can't play hard and work hard. If you say that, you're not doing either hard enough. Brackets. I don't work very hard. Mm. Oh god. So what I've got from this is that dating apps don't inc in... So what I've got from this is that dating apps haven't improved since the lockdown started. <laughs> I've never actually used a dating app before. And they probably seriously need to improve if this is how people are gonna meet in the future and you know, for the rest of our lives maybe. So yeah, dating apps, it's a no from me. So I was just watching videos on YouTube and I came across this advert for a healthy chocolate cake. And at first I didn't really think it would actually be healthy, but I've looked at the ingredients and it looks pretty good. So I've decided today I'm going to bake a healthy chocolate cake. So I'm ready to start baking my cake. I've got everything out, ready to go. I've got a camera down here that's hopefully gonna catch everything that I do on the surface. Let's do it. Okay, so my first attempt hasn't gone very well. Um, it's way too runny, so I've got to start again. <laughs> So it goes into the oven for about 20 minutes. Oh! So that cake burnt. Um, try again. So, a bit of a problem. After burning the second cake um, and the mixture that was too runny went down the sink, I haven't got enough of the cocoa powder. Um, I've been looking everywhere. I mean, the 
this might be enough. It's cocoa powder in packets. Um, this is going to be the one. Looks pretty good, I think. So here it is, ready to go in. So three attempts later, my cake is finally done. Um, yeah, we got there in the end. I'm going to now have a clean up because I'm in a mess and I should probably get changed as well. Here it is, cake fork. Oh my God. This is the best cake I've ever had. No question. Oh my God. This is healthy. This is healthy, tasty cake. So good. Oh my God. I'm very proud of myself. Um, it's got like, like a kind of musky flavour. I don't even know what that is. I've never tasted anything like that. I don't know how much of this I might eat now, but maybe one more slice. <laughs> oh my God. So I might, have eat, I, I might have eaten a bit more of the cake than I thought I was going to. Um, for reference. <laughs> I mean, it's healthy. You only live once, right? <laughs> I think I need a long lie down. Fran has lost the plot. The plot has lost Fran. I mean, the proof is in the pudding or lack of. <laughs> I feel a bit weird. himself or perhaps somebody else he's very sad I find that funny this little tasty offering will have us believing in ghosts
um, as some of you may know, um, I recently lost my wife to the virus and uh, uh, I thought it might be a good idea to start um, a video diary to share my experience with you. Um, because I need to do something. I need to do something productive, you know. Um, you know, this, this was meant to be our home. You know, newlyweds moving into their first home and um, now it's, now it's just me. And, you know, I, I don't know if you've, I don't know if you've lost someone, but you know, sometimes it's almost like she's still here, like. I can feel her, right? Something. I don't know. So, um, thank you for, thank you for watching this and, um, I will, um, I'll post, um, I'll post the video again soon. Guys, um, it's um, three twenty AM, and um, I just woke up because it feels like someone is lying next to me in the bed. It's so weird. I'm a bit scared to look. Okay, let's have a look. I'm going crazy, guys. I can hear music. That's the... That's like the music she used to listen to. She loved this. She loved to dance. Where is it coming from?
nothing here. Just wait until she finds the truth behind her boyfriend's secret double life. Revenge is sweet, and perhaps there's afternoon tea on offer.
talk to her, but she wants to come describe it, but I can't get hold of any of the pharmacies. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just have to keep trying. Finally got hold of the doctor, uh, but he won't prescribe it over the phone. He needs Gareth to go in, but Gareth said he's too unwell, so I'm just waiting for the doctor to just hopefully do the prescription over the phone. <sighs> okay, with those meds. Need some. So I'll try to get hold of my mum. A last ditch effort to get hold of these meds. But even she is struggling to get hold of hers. There just seems to be a shortage everywhere. No one can get hold of their meds. Just. Gareth, honey, are you okay? I just tried like the fifth pharmacy. They don't they can't get hold of his meds. It's just a shortage everywhere. I don't know when we'll be able to get a hold of them. He's happy playing games right now in the lounge, but Such a headache. Hey, little fishies. You reckon we're gonna get Daddy his meds? Yeah, you got screws. Shit. It's getting worse. Diary. It's Gareth who kept a diary. Never kept a diary. Thank you.
I love you. Yes, babe. I'm just making your tea now. You want the tea? You will get the tea. It's ready, darling. Here we have Joan. She is a reclusive. I love these types of soul. So innocent and juicy. She is paranoid about everything, but she is about to have the delivery from hell. Hi everyone, my top tip today is a bathroom cleaning tip and it's uh, how to get into all those little crevices where um, you know, your normal bathroom sponge can't get. Uh, what you need to use is one of these. It's uh, yeah, an old toothbrush. Uh, my mum always taught me to hang on to old toothbrushes, so that's what I do. What you need to do is uh, give it a bit of a squirt around here. I'm just using a normal bathroom cleaner, but if uh, you've got quite a build-up of lime scale, you can um, you get a specialist lime scale cleaner. Uh, you can leave it to work for a few minutes or get stuck in straight away, and then just get scrubbing with this old toothbrush. And uh, the little bristles will get right in where your normal kind of bathroom sponge uh, can't get. Uh, so we're just giving it a good old scrub, just rinse it down and uh, I promise you it will look good as new. Um, so that's my top tip, give it a go.
Hello, cleaning clan. I would like to introduce you to... cleaning clan. I would like to introduce you to Felix and the feather duster. Um, just some top tips for feather dusting. Now Felix and I know that yep, you will probably normally go into the corner of rooms, things like that, but what you sometimes need to remember that is often forgotten is you need to do the hidden places that you can't see. For example in my kitchen along the top of the units, spiders like going there as well they think we can't see them it's true but we can get rid of the evidence that they've been there so don't forget once you've done all the way along the edges of your rooms to go into those hidden bits as well don't forget things like the top of door frames top of doors that's the top tip just remember to feather dust where you can't see. I'm a bit apprehensive about how much longer this lockdown is going to go on because I am nearly out of all my cleaning products. I've hardly got any soap left. Um, I've got about two squirts of disinfectant spray left in my bottle. Um, um, I've, I've got about three wipes and that, that's it. And every time I go to the shops to try and uh, stock up, the, 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 the shelves are empty. Uh, how am I supposed to keep germs and, and, and this virus off, off, off me and out, out of my house if I can't clean things? Oh, and then yesterday this parcel arrived and uh, um, I don't remember ordering anything. Anyway, I've, I've put it in the porch. I'm not bringing it into the main bit of the house. Uh, you know, I, I have no idea what it is. There's nothing on it to say where it came from. I, uh, uh, I've been thinking you hear of these malicious people, don't you, that, that send um, like nail bombs and well, what if somebody was trying to send me a virus bomb? You, you know, you get nasty people like that, don't you? But, but then I was thinking, I, uh, I don't know anyone who dislikes me that much. Except maybe Trudy from work. But she's never liked me. <laughs> I don't know, she, she doesn't hate me enough to want to kill me. Does she?
so uh, <coughs> it's been a few days since I last checked in <coughs> and I'm pretty certain that this is the virus <coughs> I've just got no energy I've got <coughs> this cough Yeah, I'm really at a loss as <coughs> to how I could have caught it. <coughs> caught it though. Oh. It says so. Uh... Oh, that was a super meal. I love most of them, but one or two gave me a little bit of indigestion. But hey, inhale indigestion is nothing. So until next time, my lovies, stay safe and be careful who you tell your stories to.